Hello everyone. This is the 13th video in the series Let Us Power BI. And if you want to learn Power BI, you can start from the beginning. But in this video, we will just cover the weak related transforms available in Power Query. So let us start. So I've got Power BI desktop open here with me with some data. And as you can see, I've got a weak transform table, which I will use uh, to show you some concepts. So on the home tab, I go to edit queries click on that and then I click on this edit queries and it opens the power query editor for me. You can see it on the top. So I'll just on the right, on the left hand side, I've got these queries and I'll just select weak transform. And this is for the purpose of uh, showing you how to go about building something. So um, I'll just create a few duplicates here. So let's say I, I right click on the first column, which is a copy and I go to transform and I go to weak and say weak of here. And you can see it's the first of the month is the first week and then it's the second week and from so second week starts from second and goes on till ninth, sorry, eighth, and then it goes for the next seven days and so on. And if I scroll down, you can see that the num the week of the year sort of increases. So you could rename this and say, and let's uh, right click the second uh, column and again, click on transform. And then I will go on week and say week of month. And you can see over here that this is the first week of the month and then it becomes, and then it's the second week and so on and so forth. And we will just scroll down. And you can see that this starts to recycle. However, the other one keeps increasing. So week number of year uh, continues, but this one restarts from one every once the four or five weeks for a month are over. So I'll just rename this and say now I'll right click on the third column again go to transform and click on week and it will give me the start of the week and you can see on the first the week for the first of January 2005 started on 27th of uh, December 2004 and on the last column I'll just right click and again go to transform and it will show me week and end of the week. So you can see the first week is ending on the second and then the next week starts which again ends on a certain day. So in this video, we looked at the week related transforms available with Power Query. And I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and uh, do like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Um, have a good day. Thanks a lot. Bye.